Hi there, this is Amanda from Maker Flow's content team and today I'm going to show you how you can make your own dog tumbler design in Canva featuring a photo of your pet. So I'm going to show you how to find the templates for your desired tumbler size and then we're going to hop into Canva and actually make this design. So first let me show you two places that you can find uh, so let me show you two places where you can find Tumblr wrap templates. The first is if you go to the inspo tab and click on our blog, then click tumblers. This is going to bring up all of our Tumblr articles and you can click on how to, we got to go to second page, how to make sublimation tumblers. This one has templates for all of our sizes. So if you scroll down, you will find the list of all of our different sizes and it will have the template download links here. So you can find them all here or you can go to our product pages and any of these tumblers, if you click on the page for the tumbler, go down to craft guides and you will find the template download button. So I just wanna say before we begin, I'm gonna be focusing on the 20 ounce skinny size. We're gonna create one for that because this is easier to create in Canva. For the skinny tumblers, we can create the designs directly in Canva and we don't need to actually use the template because it's gonna be a rectangular size. But if you would like to make a wrap for the 40 ounce tumblers or other tapered tumbler, tumblers, you will need to use the template. I'm just gonna show you quickly, but these have an actual curve to them. It's not something that we can easily create in Canva just from scratch. But so for today, I'm going to focus on the 20 ounce skinny tumbler, which is a really popular size. So let's go back and click on the skinny tumbler and get that template. And what we're going to do is just grab the dimensions for the, the tumbler size. Okay, this one might be a little bit hard to see. Um, so let me open the other one. The dimensions that we're going to be working with are 9.3 inches by 8.15 inches. So we are going to go into Canva now and create a new project in this exact size. So let's open up Canva and create a new design. We are going to use a custom size. Click that and then we want to use inches today and then we'll add the, the size we want so it's 9.3 by 8.15 and click create new design okay so one thing you really want to do first which I've already got here is go into file and settings and make sure you've checked show print bleed because we're going to be printing this and you're going to actually be putting it onto the tumbler, we want a little bit of an extra margin so that you have a little bit of an overlap that's going to avoid having white edges to your design. So before you have that selected, it's going to look like this. So you just click file settings and then show print bleed and you'll see this extra margin around the edges. Now what I recommend at this point is to save this as a template. So I'm going to call it Microflow 20 ounce skinny tumbler template. That way you can save this blank version and then kind of copy it every time you want to create a different design. So now I'm going to copy this, make a copy, and I'm going to call this, you know, my dog tumbler design or whatever you want to call it. Now we can have fun with this, right? We can design anything we want. So what I'm going to do is go to elements and find a paw print background that I really like. Um, and with Canva, you can use things that are free. Uh, there's free ones and then there are paid ones. So it depends on if you have a free account or a paid account. So I'm seeing all these cute, colorful ones. And all of these seem to be paid. So again, you can buy designs on Creative Fabrica. You can um, make your own or you can go through here and find free things and kind of put it together. But I'm going to use this one and just resize it to be the same size so it's covering the entire background. Now that I've got this, the next thing I'm going to do is add the picture of my dog. So we will go to the section called frames. This is a type of element in Canva that allows you to drop a photo in. Let me clear my search and go back to frames. See all. And I really like this kind of blob shaped one. <laughs> I think it's a little bit, it's pretty cute. 
So I'm going to resize that and put it in the middle. You can see this line coming down from the middle is showing me that it's at the center of the tumbler. So you can kind of put that where you want it to go. And then I can choose a, pic a picture of my dog. So I've uploaded a stock photo of a dog. So it's not actually my dog. But you can upload your photos to Canva and then drag and drop into the frame. If you want to resize the image and position it differently, you can use the crop button to uh, resize it and zoom in. That's this little crop icon right here. Um, and have a photo go into the frame. After this, we can add different um, text. We can add lots of different elements. So maybe I would add a paw print shape. We can go back to graphics, um, like a little paw print on the side. And maybe I wanna add a little bit of text this and you know what that's a little bit difficult to see so maybe I can add a background color first a nice like soft color and then I can make this into a fun like handwriting font um, and you know play around with it until you like the way it looks you can change the colors, that's really hard to see. Um, and play around with it until you get something that you really like. So I'm happy with this, so I'm gonna download this. And once you download it as an image, you can print it out in your sublimation printer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and please let us know if you have any questions in the comments. We'd be happy to help you.